Hi, my name is Randy Nordell, and this is a SimNet student video on completing a SimNet project. A SimNet project is a project from the textbook that is auto graded in SimNet. So the first thing you'll want to do is navigate to uh, in your LMS to the project and and click it, and it will take you to the project area in SimNet. In the project area in SimNet, uh, first time you go in, the best practices will display and have you read them and acknowledge that you've read them. Uh, things like always use the files from this area of the, the project area in SimNet, uh, use the desktop version of the application you're using, save and close your file before uploading, things like that. So acknowledge that and then you can go to the instructions area. First thing you'll start with is you'll you'll download the files that you'll need for the project. So always, always, always use the start file from this area um, within this guided within the SimNet project area. So download that. If there are additional resources, other files that you're going to need for the project, those will be available there as well. Um, a solution file will typically display where you can see the a PDF of what the file should look like, the completed file. Uh, you could also use the file download wizard, which downloads all the files you'll need for the project. Once you do that, make sure that you open the start file in the desktop version of the application you're using. Don't use the browser-based version, Office Online. Um, it, it's a scaled-down version, doesn't have all the features you need. If you're unsure about um, the difference between the desktop version or how to download it and the, and the online version, uh, check out my video on my YouTube channel, Randy, Randy's Office, about Microsoft 365 and the different uh, differences between the desktop and online version. After you um, download the file and, uh, and open it in the desktop version, you can go to the instructions. Now, the instructions are down below here and it will automatically, SimNet will automatically detect whether you're using a Windows computer or a Mac computer and give you the appropriate instructions. You can have them read to you. Here's the, here's the read speaker. You can print or download the instructions or make them bigger or smaller on your screen. As you scroll down here, um, you'll see you can you there's a checkbox that will uh, it highlights the instruction you're on. So as you finish an instruction, you check it, it'll go on to the next one. Also, the read speaker is available over here. So what you'll do, just continue on uh, reading the instructions, applying them to your to the file. Once you complete all the instructions in the project, save and close your file and return to the SimNet project area. The next thing you'll do in the SimNet project area is upload your file for grading. Click the button. Locate your file and select it and open. And here you'll be given a couple options. You can either submit the file for grading if you're all done and ready, ready to uh, turn it in. Otherwise, you can say, no, I'm not ready. And SimNet will save your file to the SimNet cloud. You could go back later and download it and continue working on it. I'm going to say, yes, submit the file for grading. This is the, the graded area here. It will show me my score, show me my attempt. Um, by default, the net will display the partial and incorrect areas that you did on your project. Um, it will also display on the right a, the solution file. This is the actual solution file with annotations of what you got correct or incorrect. On the left, you can drill down, you can open up, scroll down, and you can see the instruction and you can all, it will also tell you feedback on what you did um, incorrect on here. So then you could go back in and make those changes. So I could scroll down, anything in red is incorrect, blue is partially correct, and green is correct. So you can filter if you wanted to display all the correct, you could do that as well. So I could turn that on or off. But uh, the detail, the feedback will help you to be able to correct your file. Most instructors allow multiple attempts, so you can, you can ask your instructor about that, but you can go back in and make those changes based on, based on the feedback. So I'm going to return to my file and then make the changes. And typically, if you don't have, if you only have a few things that are incorrect, use the same file and make the changes that are needed. If you're, if you score less than say seventy percent, you know, lower than that, 
I would probably start over, start with a new start file and start over because it'll be easier to go back through the project and redo it than try to fix all the things that you got wrong. So I made the changes in this file and I'm going to save and close it and return to the SimNet project area. If you click the project name here, it will take you back to the project area where you can upload your file again, the corrected file. And I'll submit it. And on this one, I got 100 percent. So that's uh, that's what you want to strive for. If you go back to the project area, a couple things you can see. You can see previous attempts. So if you had multiple attempts, you could look at those and you could go back and look at those attempts there. And um, and that's it. So that's a SimNet project. I hope this was helpful and have a wonderful day.